Good morning, and welcome to Good Morning RPG. What, what was that? Uh, I, I didn't come through on the mic, so I tested it, and I was like, wop wop, oh. apparently. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, the intro was going fine and everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was like, what, did I fuck it up? Did no, you fuck it up? No. Did we both fuck it up? No, no, it was actually fine. <laughs> and then I got anxious and thought it didn't work, and I went, wop wop. <laughs> Oh god, you're gonna give me a complex. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Hello. Oh, Baron Snowhand is with us in chat too. Oh, oh gosh, buddy, look at all these people in here today. Alex and Grant and Baron. Oh man, that's what I'm doing. Oh, I missed Alex. How did I miss Alex? Hi, Alex. Oh, a Rob's oh, in here. And a Rob's here. What? Oh, look at this. Oh, I spooked myself. I pressed play on the music and I didn't know what noise started happening. I'm a fucking mess, apparently. Oh my gosh. Eat I that spooked toast. Spooked myself. Well, yeah, they're like, oh, that's a thick layer of Vegemite. And uh, yeah, sure, why not? That's that's a good layer of Vegemite. What are you talking about? That's that's like, you know, healthy, completely solid layer and you can't see the toast underneath. Mmm. I'm also excited for Jasper's. Ready for cards in the mail. The music. Oh, the music's not even bloody coming through. I think I'm actually going to be staying up late for my game. You are? No, yours should be. So what time is mid no, midday here for you? Because it's in two hours from now. Two hours from now is 10 o'clock. Okay, so you'll be starting around 1030. 1030 and then going until mid Three hours. So it'd be one. 30? Is one, that three? Okay, one o'clock. Yeah. It's a late night. That's fair. That's normal <laughs> for me. One thirty, two o'clock. That's pretty that's like I was up till two thirty last night. <laughs> Actually, Ooh. sorry, I know I know that you know that because you were in the call. <laughs> I know, I was hanging out for a little while. I think I only hung out until like eleven o'clock, which according to my phone, I think was approximately midnight for you guys. Alright, here's here's my how much I like having you as a friend. Yeah, what happened? So on oh. my on my cell phone, on my main screen on my cell thank phone, thank you, Gramps. I have, thank you. Uh, oh, I have gracious. this little, I have this little widget. It's really hard to see, but there's a widget right here that tells me what time it is in Melbourne <laughs> compared to what time it is in my time zone. I have a little just. Just so I know what time it is in Melbourne all the time. I should really do that with yours, actually. <laughs> do I have that? You know how long it took me to figure out how how to get a widget that said <laughs> Melbourne and like would have the time of day it is? I just wish I could switch the colors because my background is so bright and it's Wh like where are you? Letters. Um, I'm E S T. I think it's normally like New York or whatever. Okay, New York. I'm in Virginia, if that helps okay, you. Virginia. Because we talked about Virginia and how uh, there was that restaurant that you told me to eat at that I haven't. So it is 8.15 p.m. for you right now? It is indeed 8.15. Well, that means now you're on my time. bloody phone. You're on my mm -hmm. bloody phone. Nando's. I did in That's fact get like. Nando's <laughs> after that stream, by the way. <laughs> It's actually funny as I was talking to that talking about that to my partners and they're like, yeah, you like, wouldn't like it. Well, that's so <laughs> uh, yeah, really Grimps, they've Grimps, all been there. You missed this. We <laughs> found out that there are so Nando's in the United States only exists in like two states. However, one of those states has like eight of them near Leia's house. <laughs> so Nando's is, is exclusively contained near Leia and Somewhere, I think I think it's on the other side of the country. Yeah, it's Washington. It is the it's like opposite yeah. side of yeah. the United States. Yeah, Nando's Nando's for you. Like the <laughs> scarcity of Nando's is Taco Bell here because we only just got Taco Bell back. Mind you, that's, Taco Bell is fine. nowhere near as good as Nando's. Jess will fight me on that, but <laughs> see, it's funny yeah. because like I've been I've been down to Arizona where they have real tacos, like. Mm like real authentic Mexican food. And it was like, mm, there's really nothing quite like it. I have no doubt that it would be amazing, but sometimes you just want a dirty Taco Bell burrito. 
or anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Mexican food north of Texas is trash. I have heard that. I've heard that. Yeah. Um, it's it's actually funny because I grew up in New York, so New York is basically like where I grew up. It's like a forty-five minute to like a half an hour drive to Canada. It's how close to Canada I grew up, and we never had authentic Mexican food at all. Like Taco Bell was as close as you got, but we had a shit ton of Chinese food, like really good, authentic Chinese places. Taco Bell's like <laughs> it's really great. Taco Bell's Tex-Mex, isn't it? It's not even Mexican. Yeah, it's Tex-Mex. Mm. Um, so when, when you say when you I say like good Chinese like... food, what do you what what do you? Because I know people have different categories for that, and I actually talked. I was at a board game night last night, and this topic actually came up. So it's actually kind of fresh in my mind. Mind. Uh, what 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 is a? Uh, actually, I would say Britain has pretty damn good Chinese food because their culture, for some reason, really like mm -hmm. a, a classic British tradition is either getting a fish and chips or quote unquote a Chinese. The sentence doesn't work, but if you One know it in Chinese the context Chinese. of the slang, they uh, they do that. Oh, uh, Nando's is huge in Britain as well, because okay. that's where the cheeky Nando's came from. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. We just we had just really good because like moving down here to Virginia is like we've got really shady Chinese place places. Like the food is never really that great. It's not run by like there you go. We love a good American, Chinese. American run Chinese places like they're sketch they're all really sketch um like I liked being able to go to a Chinese nice. restaurant in New York where no one spoke any English oh we got loads of that whatsoever. in Melbourne I yeah, love it a, <laughs> so there, there's a really good uh there's a really good Asian food area in Melbourne City Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Every place is like that. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Okay, so okay, so uh, cuisine wise, is it like like um uh, we call it we call it yamcha here, but it's called dim sum where you are. Uh, and yeah. so like so like the little plates and stuff. Do you mean like that kind of Chinese, mm -hmm. or do you mean like like I'm, and when I say Panda Express, I don't mean Panda Express, but like the style of food, like. You know, you've yeah. got like little fried bits of chicken, but it's got like it's it's some kind of sauce or like like a sizzling yeah. plate kind of thing. Like, what's it's, what's the scale? It's very much about? like Americanized, like because like I know what you get when you say a Panda Express. You mean Americanized Chinese, mm. kind of like how Taco Bell is Americanized Mexican food. I cannot fathom. Um, no, I'm talking. I'm talking like dim sum, like going and get like the little plates. steamed baskets. Okay, okay. Like like the bamboo steamed bamboo mm. baskets. And going to like Japanese restaurants and being able to get like bento boxes and stuff. Okay, okay. That okay. kind of stuff. Okay, okay. Because I <laughs> so I maybe maybe it's because Australia is like really close to a lot of Asia. Uh, that Probably yeah. My my brain or mean immediately segments each of those things that you've just said into separate cuisines almost. So like a mm -hmm. bento box, or you go to like an izakaya, is like a Japanese restaurant. You go get you can go you cut it curries, your edamames, your karages. Uh, your mm -hmm. bento boxes with, you know, whatever in it. Mm -hmm. And then you got your yamcha, which is like your traditionally Chinese style, uh, lots of different plates. I yeah. love the yamcha is great because my brain makes me want lots of, lots of a small thing. Like lots, small, oh, yeah, small yeah, yeah. selection. Like, no, sorry. Everything lots of, is good. So you want a little I bit of I want a little everything. bit of everything. Yamcha is like mm -hmm. perfect for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Problem is, I don't eat seafood, so you know, it eliminates half the menu anytime I go to these places. Mm -hmm. uh, but like, to me, there's like a couple categories of like Chinese food in in like in the the bastardized Australian sense, and mm -hmm. and oh fucking hell, cramps, fucking hell, he comes back and he almost deserves a ban after that. <laughs> No. Um, oh yeah, Melbourne's Chinatown is fantastic. It's one of the oldest continuous Chinatowns in. E cramps banned me. What? Uh, I don't know what that means. Did he ban the split the party account? <laughs> I maybe. Might have to unban that, Louis. I don't know what that's gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Oh, I actually banned someone." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, removed ban on me. 
Oh my god. Uh, the last part of that was the summer, southern hemisphere. <laughs> uh, yeah, so in the southern hemisphere, so what do we got here? I'm sorry, I'm just catching up on the chat. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, who puts fish into taco? Fucking monsters. Uh, Australia has like amazing Chinese food. Uh, and, and so, and correct me if I'm wrong, Gramps and Alex, but there's like different categories of Chinese food. So like when we pitch a Chinese food, uh, it, it's a lot of the sizzling plate kind of stuff, but I, my friend un, quote unquote called it dirty Chinese yesterday. And what he means is like a food court level Chinese place. And if you have this, mm -hmm. let me know. You get a takeaway container, like one of the little plastic takeaway containers. And they go, mm -hmm. do you want rice or noodles? And you go, rice or noodles? And then you get two or three choices of basically pre-prepared dishes. None, none of this is yeah. made when you order it. It's all sitting in like heat banes. And you get like, yeah. you know, if you're real basic like me sometimes, you get like a fried rice, you get like some sweet and sour pork, you get some fucking lemon chicken, and then you get some beef and black bean. And you get all of that in one little box or like a little bento. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, it's like 10 to $15. It's not hugely expensive because effectively it is delicious, but it's fucking garbage. And and, yeah. and 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 when got, I we've got a couple of places like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I heard the term "dirty Chinese," when he said that, I was like, I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly <laughs> what you mean because the food's not that good. This is like probably the same. Like if if we had Panda Express, mm. this would be. I mean, it's exactly what Panda Express is. Exactly, but like Panda Express, they at least cook it there, right? Or is it all sitting there ready for you? Uh, no, like, you can see people cooking in the back, okay. but it's all in hot bins. Okay, because this is all in hot bins. So this is probably yeah. the same as that, except apparently orange chicken is basically candy. We don't have that. Orange chicken's it's not actually, a thing here. It's actually not. So okay. it, Panda Express, it is. But actual, like... I've seen people, like, make actual. orange chicken, like... Orange chicken is supposed to be... It's supposed to taste like oranges yeah yeah which is which is unheard Panda of for me because i've never had that very sugary candy yeah. like yeah yeah hey. so like my idea of orange chicken is pretty much the people going like holy fuck this is just candy but with meat in it uh mm -hmm. um it's got a little bit of heat too it's like it's yeah. it's like it's heat with like you can taste the orange with the like, like the chicken or whatever it's cooked with i just but saw yeah, Louis. I've, I've, I've heard that. yeah Louise says Mongolian beef, spicy chicken, fried rice. So like you, you like people will have like their order yeah. when they go there. And I have a yeah, habit yeah. because I can never find a good one. I, I'm a sadist and I wanna make sure like I really like lemon chicken, alright? So it's just it's just the fried chicken pieces and then they have a lemon sauce, you can either dip it in it or pour it on or whatever. But yeah. the problem is nowhere, and I'm talking fucking nowhere, other than like one or two places ever can get the lemon sauce right. It's not fucking, it's apparently it's the hardest thing to do in the goddamn world. But my basic white ass fucking complaining about lemon chicken sauce. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so like it'll either be too watery. If it, like, if it tastes good, it's too watery. Mm -hmm. If it's really nice and, like, I want it to be, like, thick and gluggy so it, like, has form factor yeah. and won't, like, spread out everywhere. But mm -hmm. if it's gluggy, it doesn't have flavor. And I don't know why they can't get the mix right. Except there's one place, like, ten minutes down from me, the first place in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, one of, like, two places in Melbourne that I've had that actually gets the sauce right, and I'm very happy it's close to me. But it's, like, $20 <laughs> a dish, so it's no longer easy and cheap takeaway. It's all about balancing the pH, say, yeah. It's not like, bitey enough. In my area, so like I'm, I am, I enjoy more Japanese cuisine than I do Chinese cuisine most yeah. of the time. Like I love, I, I, love I don't, I'm not a big fan of Chinese, but I'll eat it. Yeah. But like, there's a Japanese place that we go to that's probably about 10 minutes away from our house that we absolutely love. And it's that same thing where it's like, it's a little bit more expensive, but when mm. we went in there the first time, uh, one of my partners who actually lived in Okinawa for several years, we walked in, he goes, oh my God, I just got trans uh, transported to Japan. Yeah, He's yeah. like, this is exactly what you see because the store is like maybe 25 feet in width, but very long. Oh, like it's, I've been it's to those places. Those yeah, there's, there's loads here. Yeah. 
tiny and uh, we don't get a lot of those a lot yeah. of the like a lot of the chinese and japanese places you see are like big square footage oh, no, okay this yeah is no. like, ours are like maybe like 10 to 15 tables it's a very long place they've got really bad japanese show like Ooh. like game shows playing which yeah, is great yeah. so you know how uh, i know a place is really good hmm. if you walk past a place and it does like as long like if you're like i feel like some kind of like t like a like, uh, like really good asian food like if, if uh, multiple cuisines mm -hmm. you walk past a place and if it has like this fucking picture board of the menu outside and that thing mm -hmm. hasn't been replaced in like 20 years and it's all faded and completely like, if if oh. that picture board looks like garbage that food's fucking amazing because it doesn't need to change is, like the place that the place that i go to for are like that's where i normally get sushi because yeah, yeah. i think they've got amazing sushi um they actually it seems like they kind of keep up with the times really well but oh, it's, yeah? it's um but uh my partner says that it is the most authentic japanese food we've gotten here oh that's awesome or at least he's he's yeah. gotten in the states since his time in japan so uh so, in in cans where i grew up there is a place that has been rated as worth traveling to cans just to try uh, it, like in terms of like, if you live in Australia, don't come from America to do yeah. it because it's not like it's not <laughs> it's not triple Michelin. It's just it's not even one Michelin. It's just that good. But this little old lady from Japan, well, not old lady, it's probably I mean she's old, probably old now because it's been it's been, like I started going there uh. about 10, 15 years ago. But uh, this little old lady from Japan came over to Cairns of all places in Aust in Australia to open a ramen shop. Now this ramen shop. Is one of those if you've seen the if you've seen the documentary Jiro Dreams of Sushi at all? Uh, oh like, yeah, we yeah. just recently watched that. Okay. Hello, someone calling from the Coco's Island. No, I won't answer that. Uh. uh it, so yeah, it, it's is she, it's. Is she like that, but like ramen noodles? Literally like that with ramen noodles. She is a fucking master of her craft. And I, I don't, I just, I have had ramen ruined for me. I can't find a ramen that is better than that one. And I've been to a <laughs> shitload of ramen in desperation because I, all I can do is travel to Cairns to have my favorite ramen. <laughs> it's oh, that's, rough. Well, Archie, I get that yeah. though, because like... My favorite, my favorite thing, and I wish we could get them here in Virginia, but you can't because they are specific to my hometown. Yeah. I know I talked about them before is um, garbage plates. Oh, I've heard of a garbage plate. you cannot plate. get anywhere. You cannot get them oh, anywhere. Those look fucking hometown, amazing, by the way. Of Rochester, New York. So anybody who's not familiar with a garbage plate, it's amazing. It is a, like... Styrofoam I'll bring, container. I'll bring it up. It sounds. It's very similar yeah. to a, 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 a halal snack pack in Australia. Uh, it's. Um, I thought I had. From memory, it is anyway. Yeah, it's very. Actually, it looks. It even looks similar, but it's completely different. <laughs> um, they are the little like, uh, styrofoam container, half home fries, which are just like potatoes cut up into squares. It's, that's what they're called in New yeah. York. Um, and then half mac salad. So it looks uh, like. In my oh, can you see this? Mm. Okay, maybe not. Well, I'm watching the stream and it's a little. I uh, just looks like my screen went black. Yeah, That's and I it. tried to put the garbage plate where your screen is, but it didn't mm. work. Didn't work. Sorry, so, I'll change the feedback. It's um. So it's half. Half hash browns, half mac salad, with two burger patties on top, with ketchup, mustard, and uh, meat sauce, which is like a hot, hot sauce kind of thing. Oh. It's so delicious. Oh, I hate that. Oh, it's browsers. Oh, fuck, I did that wrong. Like stuff we had something happen to us like that recently too where like something 
I, I can't say that COVID shut it down, but it was like one of our favorite places to order food during COVID. Yeah. And it just recently shut down. Sucked. <laughs> uh, my, my The place that I used to go to in Kansas, it still exists. It's called Gun Barumba, also known as the Noodle Coliseum. Uh, and it, it is it is just the fucking best, you man, you know. The noodle coliseum. Oh, it's so good, my dude. It's so good. And it's like the best tonkotsu, right? Like, I go there, I order number one Ikemen tonkotsu. Oh, shit. All right, put that <laughs> over my camera. All right, here we go. So. <laughs> this is a garbage plate. Chicken katsu and a spicy garlic black broth. So, uh, in, um, in... I'm gonna actually start but... painting something. We're yeah, fair. We're paint, finally. <laughs> I can hear myself, I think. No, I don't know where it's coming from. Anyway, uh, the place in, uh, in Melbourne that I really liked is, uh, RG Sen Ramen's pretty good. And I know that's a chain, but it's surprisingly good for a chain. Depending on which one you go to, I guess. And also, Gensuke Ramen's pretty good as well. But that one's overpriced for what you get. Aji Sen is probably the best chain I've had. The one in the CBD, yeah, that's the one. Uh, the one in um, the one in High Point's actually quite good. Actually, it's less good, but it's still good. And then the one near Werribee in Werribee uh, Pacific is actually quite good as well. I've not had the other ones. Uh. Yeah, Gensuke, the red one on Russell Street, very, very good. Uh, but, uh, Leia, the, the point I was trying to make was uh, all, a lot of these places are, like, some of them have, like, six people seats. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just it's just a bar, and you sit at the bar, and then you, that's it. You cannot fit yeah. more people in it other than the little bar. And Gun Barumba ha used to have that, so you've got the bar, and then it's got, like, a single line of tables going down there as well. That's it. Yeah. Gensuke Dragon number four ramen. You like the spicy stuff, Louie. That's why. Um, yeah, Melbourne's got really good food. I've heard that Sydney's. Uh... I have heard that Sydney's got a run for money on food because it has a lot of it has a lot more variants. But Melbourne's quality of food's really good. Sorry, what are you saying? I was gonna say I'll have to I'll have to remember that when we travel to Melbourne. Yeah, you will. Yeah, well, you, you two are Ram. We're gonna do it. You two are Ram. I know that you're supposed to be coming out. You say you're coming out here. You got family down here. What's your excuse coming out? I know you're lurking around somewhere. What's your excuse you're coming down yet? What's going on, bud? I know it's pandemic, but. <laughs> yeah, we've been talking about it more. Like we need to start traveling. I like really gotta I'm gonna really do that what does the lurk command do i've never used it i don't know if it does anything you may see oh, oh i haven't i haven't i haven't unenabled the browser source but i like that i can do that now uh so um you may see me like pretty much just going i'm going over all my stuff with a makeup brush uh it's because uh, they're all dusty. I'm literally dusting my minis right now. <laughs> Allows me to put other thing... Oh, so it counts as a view? I didn't know that. I'll have to use oh, that a bit more. Oh, all right. That's cool. Oh, he wants the channel points. <laughs> <laughs> I bloody... You know. I bloody... I bloody know it's Keeping coming. Keeping that on. clean. Come one day. It's coming one day. No. We shouldn't have allowed Don't. him to we shouldn't have allowed him to do it. We shouldn't have. We haven't had a hype train since. <laughs> nope. There was what was it, two weeks ago when we streamed and where like there was like a was like a threat. A, there was a threat of a hype train. Like, oh, threat of a hype train. A threat of a hype train. I was like, oh gosh. Yeah. No no no. Ooh. So I've been getting excited about tech and gear lately. Cause yeah, cause it's nice. Uh, and Elgato's just released another little light that I really want to get. <laughs> it's oh about gosh. this. It's about this big, right? It's like okay. it's quite small, and it's the same brand as these fuckers up here, and these are huge. Uh, but it's also Wi-Fi controlled, and it's battery con it's battery powered, which means that I can Ooh. put it anywhere and still Wi-Fi control it. And I'm thinking I want to get like at least two. Uh, maybe to backlight myself a little bit in here, 
But the primary purpose okay. is I want to be able to like, I'm heavily tossing up if I want to create a bunch of stream deck macros for when we film stuff like in person or like mm -hmm. if I'm doing like production streams here and then I can like dim everything with the stream deck commands. So like you go into a dungeon and everything like dims down and then it gets all like a bit dank okay. and I want, I want to do like that. That would be cool. Yeah, because I want to get some like maybe like another three hue bulbs and connect it all up as well. And then we've got Ooh. between me and Ben Martin, we've got three of these big lights. And then if we have two of those little ones as well, I can have like maybe a light under where my DM screen sits so I can light it from mm. below. That's cool. Yeah, I want to do. I want to. Very, very cool. I want to do funky shit like that. Ah, <laughs> I love the idea of it and like when I have some spare, like I, th my spare cash either goes towards like pretty much minis or gear at this point. Like that's, that's where I'm all games, you know, I mean, I play destiny and then I play league of legends, you know, two games that are either like a once a year investment or free. So I don't exactly that's spend a lot of money on those things. <laughs> um, oh gosh. but yeah, so like, I, I just love, I love being funky with gear. Like, uh, our camera, our camera lady Beck, Beth, sorry, uh, Beck is my brother's girlfriend. Uh, our camera lady Beth just bought like wireless mics, and I was so jealous. I was like, oh, I want wireless mics. I want to spend five hundred dollars, but I can't spend five hundred dollars. I want to spend five hundred dollars on wireless mics. Uh. <laughs> I'm getting all, be all right. getting all whiny because yeah. I. I I mean, I have savings, but I don't want to spend my <laughs> savings. So I sit there just being like, <gasps> "You can, you can look from afar." Yeah, it's pretty much it, okay. right? Yeah. I don't know which one to start. Oh, I was gonna paint this down. Mm. Yeah. Saving money is hard things. when you want things. It really is. Saving money at all is hard in general. <laughs> When I finally have savings, I'm like, I could spend this. I could spend this. Get a nice little, like, get a nice little random gig to prop, prop up stuff. Ooh! <laughs> I bought the Spelljammer Platinum as well. Ooh. I bought it. My wallet hurts and I'm crying Ooh. a little bit, but I bought it. Oh my god. I know this is probably not going to mean a lot to you. Yeah. But my favorite, me, uh, mine and uh, my Matt's favorite writer just came out. Well, not just. This is a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. Came out with like... Okay. So our favorite writer, writer Brandon Sanderson, is yep. like an amazing writer. I love that for a name like, as well. Brandon Sanderson. Yeah, it's got like some alliter it's got some rhyming that I kind of like, and also it sounds a I... little bit fake. My name, it's Brandon funny. Sanderson. <laughs> well, it's funny because I always refer to him as Brando Sando. Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> and apparently, the internet does too, and he just enjoys that shit. Okay, so this man is a writing machine. So yeah. not only did he, so he's the one that finished the Wheel of Time books that I'm like a super nerd for. Mm. He also has like. He writes like two novels a year, which is insane. Yeah. Like right now, he just finished like the first draft of one book and he's like going through the editing process for his second book. I think both will come out this year. I think. I don't know. But like I know for sure one is coming out later this year. I actually think it's coming out on my birthday, which I'm very excited for. Nice. Anywho, during COVID... The first, the first year of COVID during lockdown, he said that he had been doing less like going out and like going to seminars and conventions because, you know, we couldn't do that because of COVID. Mm. So he's like, so I took all of the time that I would, I would have dedicated to doing all of that. And I wrote a book. And I did what I did best. Or I did, I did what I do best. I, I, I wrote a book. In nice. fact, I wrote five. Oh shit. This motherfucker in one year on top of the two books he was already working on wrote five extra books. Fuck, you know. 
That's incredible. So he, he had a big Kickstarter recently that was called The Year of Brandon Sanderson. Basically, he would crowdfund the publishing of four of these novels because one of them, he said, was a kid's book. And he wasn't really sure how he was going to, like, release it, like, whether they wanted to do it illustrated or whatever. Yeah. So four for sure are coming out. So he's wow. doing an entire, like, loot box thing where it's like, for 12 months, we're going to be getting, like, all of his other, all of his other, like, books. And then once a quarter, so I think that's what, every once every four months, we'll get uh, one of the books to read. I think a quarter is three months, but yeah, that's still, that's great. Okay, yeah, whichever. But I mean, re like, just, people who read a lot like will get through that, too. Oh yeah, and of course my partner shelled out for the the like the, the ultimate box, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the the deluxe, which gets us like the hardbacked signed copies along with audiobook versions. <laughs> I'm just like ah, I'm so excited. That means I don't have to physically read anything. I can actually just listen to it on audiobooks because yeah. that's how I consume things i'm a big nerd. oh my gosh there's a book that i need to start and read except it's it's basically just like a a youtube business book and i got rec i got recommended effectively and i was like no oh, this is probably good i should read it and then i'm like oh, i don't want to read it i don't like reading and uh so i might go on audible and and try and do the free trial thing and <laughs> listen to it as long as like i really like audiobooks you just gotta like my thing is I need to be, I need to like the person who is reading the book. Oh yeah? Like I, I can't, and not like like them as a person. Like I have to enjoy listening to their You gotta voice. enjoy listening to their voice, yeah. Because most of the books that I listen to are anywhere from 30 to 40, sometimes 50 hours long. Yeah. So if I want to listen to that, that book, I have to really enjoy this person because that's possibly... That's the journey you're with, I yeah. Average 30 hours of my life I'm dedicating to this. I don't know. Yeah. So it's like, I have to enjoy this person a lot. That's fair. Because I like no, listening I get that. to long books. I am. Um, so... I did not know they were that long. I would I would just listen to well, it in the car. I, mean, I drive a lot of places, I'm, so. I'm not, those are like. Those are like the books that are like this thick oh, okay. they're like the pa the ones that are like thousands of like, pages long like the dunes so it's like so for like a standard uh, yeah like the dunes or like all of the wheel of time books those ones average like 40 hours yeah but it's like a standard book is normally like 12 okay yeah i was thinking like I, a couple of that i were looking I at were like seven like, hours ish I don't know if you've if you're familiar with any of like the Neil Gaiman books and stuff like that. Like, I would consider me not a reader, so I don't read. Yeah. I like I, you know, because like I think Harry Potter at one okay. point. <laughs> I tried to. I actually I read some of the Warhammer novels because mm -hmm. I really like the the Tao Commander Farsight enough to a reader's um, book. I really we'll like see, that like... book. Sorry. Cool. Um, I think what got me into it was like when I wanted to try audiobooks, mm -hmm. and it was because I was doing a lot of stuff with my hands. I couldn't really dedicate time to actually physically reading. Oh yeah, because I was doing so many other things with my time. So I think I, on the trial run, I listened to uh, Ready Player One. Oh, yeah. It was the first book that I ever listened to on audiobooks. Which I really enjoyed because Will Wheaton actually oh, that one. Um, he was the narrator for for that. Nice. And I thought it was it was not the book I thought it was going to be because I had not seen or I had not read the book before I saw the movie. Yeah. It's very different but than I like the movie, the isn't it? But I like the changes in it. I thought that the book and the movie stood apart from one, one another like really well yeah Challenge apparently the second book is not good in the book is the arcade game 
The what? A lot of people had problems with it. And I, I can see why people have problems with it. I didn't think it was horrible. The second book. People had problems with it. Like, thematically. And I can understand... I can understand why... Yeah. I can understand why people have problems with it. You know, it was okayly written. Oh. What was that? Um, uh, your painting well, camera think... has... Yeah, I think that was the sound of my other Discord shutting down. Yeah, I can see. Yep, yeah, well... Oh, yeah, oh, there that was me yeah, actually logging out of Yeah, it. yeah, it's gone. Ooh, oh, good. I just realized I've got to disable the overlay for... Uh, got to disable the Ooh. overlay for Disco Elysium anyway. <laughs> Otherwise, you can see the tasks I haven't uh, completed. Uh -oh. Okay, so my browser version of Discord will not... Strange. Oh, did I lose you for a sec as well? No, you're still there. I can still hear you. No, I'm sitting really still there for a while. Oh yeah, it's it's jumping around a bit, but I can hear you. You're cutting in oh. and out for me. There we go. Uh, my internet has been struggling all day. Yeah, I remember this. I remember when we were talking earlier. It was a bit right. spotty as well. Your mm -hmm. normal camera is good now. Oh, I don't. Uh, I can't open Twitch. So I guess you'll have to keep an eye on chat for me. That's all right. Uh, no, it's pretty. It's pretty quiet at the moment. Okay. I'll, um... Yeah, don't use any unnecessary resources, I guess. Yeah, I already had to stop using uh, Spotify. Oh, that's fair. Which was very sad because I like listening to my tunes. Yeah. What's going on? Just the house, I guess, right? I guess, yeah. I was already gonna. Well, I was gonna mention earlier we should probably do a short. Oh yeah, we can do a little shorty. Today. Yeah. Um, that's all right. I got I got a lot of editing to do, so that's fine. Other other than my internet being the way it is right now, I pulled my back on Sunday. Oh man, no. Um, as while I was while I was getting like while my cold was clearing up was still really sneezy. Yeah. Um, I sneezed so hard I pulled my back. <laughs> <laughs> because thirty. Very, it's a very you thing to do. <laughs> I sneezed so hard I pulled my back and it's like my shoulder, and of course it's my painting shoulder. Yeah. So. I was already kind of having some issues. I, I empathize a and, lot. Like, today was. Sorry, I empathize a lot. Uh, however, the joke that I do have to make right now at your expense is okay. the phrase, I pulled my painting shoulder. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to, I'm going to look. Straight quit the discord. <laughs> redeem a lore drop real quick. Someone in chat, redeem a lore drop out of your channel points and I'll, uh, I'll embarrass myself nicely. I'll, 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 uh, no, I I'll hit myself you back. All right, I'll do it. I want to encourage using it. You spend right, yeah, those no, channel points to redeem a lord. Okay, so law drop. I I can't do it because I can't open Twitch without my computer That's shutting down. That's very fair. Okay, and you so... just made fun of me. Okay, so <laughs> law drop for me. Uh, the reason why I felt comfortable making that joke was because I have literally tried to this is not another jim broadbent situation that is one of the most embarrassing stories i have and now there's a 10-year version of it that i'm going to turn into a tight five <laughs> uh uh fucking hell christ don't make me dig up that one again no uh i was trying to mow the lawn once and i was doing the like the, the mower wouldn't start 
was doing the rip cord, and I I pulled Ooh. my back uh, while trying to start the lawnmower. And this is like four years ago. This is not when I'm 30. I'm 26 at this point, and I pulled my back doing that. And then, and then. Uh, Why is it not letting me do it? There you go. Buh. Um, and so I pulled my back. And this wasn't just like... It was like a, I did it and I felt a twinge. And then within an hour, mm -hmm. I couldn't move. Like, mm -hmm. it was so bad. I could not walk. I had to lie in bed. I had to get someone to like... We didn't have a heat pack. Because we're all young and we didn't think this had fucking happened to us. Uh, so someone put a bunch of rice in one of my socks... And they would just go microwave it. So I would have to ask someone to go and uh, reheat my hot rice sock every probably hour. And I would just not lie have one of those. Sorry? I grew up with that shit. Like, heat we didn't packs. have heat packs. We were too, too poor for heat no. packs. We had a rice sock. Yeah, I had a hot rice sock. Uh, so i had my hot rice well that's the thing my mum used to have like a heat pack that was basically just a different kind of grain and you would just microwave it but it wouldn't burn because rice will burn evidently i found out if you microwave rice in a sock for too long it burns and smells bad uh Stop, it hurts the laugh. uh and so uh yeah. uh you know i had to had to lie in bed for two to three days uh just constantly getting my hot rice sock uh, reheated as I suffered in pain for a long time. So I pulled, so my, I pulled my back like Sunday, like Saturday night into Sunday morning. Like yeah. it was in the middle of the night. So Sunday it was really sore. And he zooms in like, the cool, chat. It's going to be like, fuck your old <laughs> to both of us. <laughs> You said what? You're 26 now. I was, I, you... No, no, I'm I'm nearly 30. So I'm 29 now. You're, you're 29. We, now. We're the okay. same year, I'm you're pretty 30. sure. You're, we're both. You're no, in, you... not if you're not 30 yet. Oh, so wait, are you 92 or 91? I'm a 91. Okay, you're one year older than me. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. So that you know, I did that at 25, so, 26 area. So like. I pulled I pulled my back Saturday night into Sunday morning, like in the middle of the night. Sunday I'm really, really sore. I was like, cool, this is not gonna be good. Like, I am gonna have a really shitty week. Cause yeah. I've got a bunch of D and D stuff to do. I've got meetings, I've got my painting thing, and of course it's like it's my right shoulder. It's my right shoulder blade. Monday morning, I wake up and I'm laying on my back and I'm in so much pain and I realize I panic. Because I realize I cannot roll over to get out of bed on either of my shoulders. My back was in so much pain. I couldn't. I was a turtle. I was stuck in fucking bed. Mm. Like, I couldn't roll off on any of my shoulders because any movement of, like, moving my shoulders in yeah. caused so much pain. Oh, my God. I was stuck in bed for like an hour oh my before God. I was like, just get it over with. We have to get out of bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yesterday I, was better, and then this morning I was like, I can do the laundry. And I was like, I did too much laundry. Mm -hmm. I was quick, angry doing the laundry. Quick, this, that's the, that was my problem. Quick side note, check this out. <gasps> what? Mm. I don't know what's happening because I can't see your it's painting camera. My, uh, it's waggling and not cutting out. Ah, ah I, check you're it just out. like you're just like moving the thing, I'm and like I don't, like well, I, I mean, can't you, see. I thought, I thought you'd be able to see it, the camera moving. Yeah. Well, I can see your camera moving, but I was like, I don't yeah, know no. what this is supposed to indicate. It indicates that it's not cutting out. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the new cable worked, so that's nice. I, I bought like three of them. It's like <laughs> you motherfuckers better work. Well, that's the thing. These cables cost $8 off Amazon versus the $40 JB Hi-Fi ones I was buying. So I'm happy for a cable to last only a few months if it's $8. But I went through four, two $40 cables and they were just as garbage, you know? Ooh. It's because the, the retail price of those things is stupid. Um, wow. The shaking paint hurts. This is not... That's not fair.
Pulsar. So what do you to do? Settle on Orky Boys or some Tau? I'm doing some Tau, and I'm doing my Purple Callus color scheme. So my Ooh. my Purple Callus people, uh, and it's I'm just doing their underlay robes. So just a lot of uh, slow purple base coating. Because I don't want to like ruin the white. I've sprayed them in white for the uh, the armor, and I just oh, I gotcha. I just need to be neat and not hit the armor because white is a hard color. Mm hmm. Uh oh, I just realized I don't know where the pants start, and the boots end. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> Especially with this like resin. I'm like, um, I should probably take a look at the art. Uh, I'm painting a Hero Forge mini that we printed out like a year ago, and I told my players I was gonna paint these guys, and then I never did. And I never did. Yeah. Uh, Benji and Benji and Jess just ordered their Descent to Avenus Hero Forge minis, and uh, I can bet that Benji is probably gonna ask me to paint his, and I'm gonna tell him no. Why didn't you just print them? I'm scared of my printer still. Much... There's... Oh. Oh, he also wanted his printed in color. No, hold on. No, oh, he got his un... okay. No, sorry, he got his un uh, uncolored in the end because it was it's like a hundred Australian dollars to get them printed in color. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like with the conversion and the shipping, it is not cheap for Hero Forge here. Mm-hmm. STLs are like ten dollars, but like. But like. That's so much that's so much better than like the amount it would take to to have them print it or Yeah, the amount of mental anguish that printing causes me at the moment though is uh, I'd rather mm -hmm. someone else sort themselves out. I need to set you up with a call on a call with with my partner. Yeah, it's terrible. And you we got to get that figured out for you, boy. Yeah, I mean it's it's I'm never going to sell the printer, so I'm not in a ru like I'm not in a rush to like fix it, but fuck man, it gives me terrible <laughs> gives me an emotional roller coaster of frustration you, and crying. <laughs> you got this. Yeah. You got oh, apparently I don't. That's the problem. <laughs> Do you know how many how many things we we ended up tossing out and fucking up before we figured it out? Yeah, I just want to be good at it. It takes time to be good at anything, my I love. I know, but I want to be good at it now, my minis. That's not how it works. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just going I'm back. i laughing at Rangers. I know, I know! Uh, I'm just going back to Alex's thing of, uh, when he did it with his group, there was, like, six buying at once. Yeah, we were going to do that, and then... When some, like, because people wanted to buy more than just, Jess just ordered, like, a regular one. It was about $50, $58. We also ordered the premium plastic. We don't order a regular plastic because I personally don't like the regular plastic. I think it, it, it snaps too easily. Uh, so I always encourage people to order the one that is $10 more expensive, US $10. But it is more durable and it won't break because every Hero Forge Muni that we've ordered bar one has broken. And the regular plastic. Never had that problem. I think I think people are just rough with it, or because it sits in my like. Actually, no, I haven't broken any. It was George and Brendan that keep breaking theirs. Oh well, then that's a them thing. And oh, it's a them you... problem. I just don't want to hear about it, so I tell them to order the better one. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to hear and be like, "Oh, I paid fifty dollars with this mini, and I broke it with my hands." And I'm like, then. Don't do that. Simply don't be a fuck. Yeah, seriously. Look after your things. Yeah, I I used to tell people to order a hero food. That was like for the longest time the the best way to order like commissions from it through like people who had stuff that they wanted commissioned. That was like almost the easiest way for a while was to have them order something on Hero Forge and just have it sent to me. Yeah. And then when I finished, I could send it to them. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, and I loved that so much. And then I got a 3D printer and then nobody wanted commissions anymore. Then you got a 3D printer. Well, and, oh, as in like the need for it dropped off a bit. Yeah. Well, no, it was, it was, we got a, we got a 3D printer and I was like, oh, I can advertise for like, you know, people can get Hero Forge minis and they won't have to buy the $30 it would cost for, um, like getting it mm. printed and then shipped to me. They can just pay the $7.99 for the STL, send me the file for the STL. I mean, that's still I not a bad idea to advertise that. Yeah, but no, now nobody wants to get Hero Forge minis. And also, I don't have a way of doing that anymore because my Etsy is gone. Fiverr, you use Fiverr. So you we'll see about that. No, I, I, yeah, I think, I think Fiverr. I mean, I as just someone who uses Fiverr, I think it's a great. It's like it's not perfect, but it is, a, it is a marketplace. You know. I don't know that twenty percent really. Oh, it really fucks me off because it means that any because they because they charge an American right. So, mm -hmm. uh, basically, whatever I charge in American pricing, the commission that Fiverr takes basically makes the same price Australian. Which is handy in its own yeah. right, because it means that I know exactly how much I'm making. I just convert that number to Australian instead of American. 20% is very hefty, though. It is. it is, And especially since, according to a lot of people that I've spoken to, I don't charge enough for my minis. No, so you, like, you should it, be charging more. The, but here's the thing, is when I charge more, no one wants to buy them. Yeah. Uh, I run into the same thing with DMing. You gotta find a, a balance where people will pay for it happily, but you don't bust it. Mind you, then you get freelancing when you have too many jobs, then you raise your prices, and then you'll start losing clients, but you're getting paid more in that sense. You're, you're doing less work for the same amount of money. Which is what I've tried to do with DMing now. I, I've just started raising the rate a bit because I literally couldn't take more jobs. And then the mm -hmm. new clients came along and now some of my old ones, uh, like they just had to take a break for other reasons other than the price. Uh, and they just, they'll just they come back later. But the new ones that I'm getting are paying more. Yeah. Like it's not, it's like not my... significantly more, but it is more. Like the problems that I've been having is for a while... Like, I charged, oh gosh, what did I start with? I started with $15 for custom painted miniatures. Yeah. And then $10 for pre-painted. That was just, like, me fucking around, painting whatever I wanted, like, however I wanted. And then somebody said that I wasn't char charging enough. Uh, a friend of mine who has since become a very good friend of mine. Mm. Um, he was like, "You're absolutely not charging en enough." Enough. I would to say. I would more. say. Yeah, you should absolutely be charging more. So it got to the point where, like, okay, so I raised it ten, like five dollars. It became twenty for customs, fifteen for, and I kept like raising it as like demand increased, and I yeah. realized I could. Yeah. So it got to the point where it was twenty five dollars for free for pre painted miniatures that I would just like put up like work on throughout the week and yeah, put up yeah. and back, and thirty five dollars for anybody who wanted something custom, um, and then it would go up. Is that per uh, hour or is that just for the whole thing? Thirty five dollars flat. Okay. However, that was for a standard twenty eight millimeter miniature. Yeah. If it went to if it was a large creature. Like that, the two by twos, it would go to 40 and then it would just like increase. Yeah, yeah. Like exponentially depending on like on the size how and the complexity, got. yeah. Yeah. Do you ever, do um, you, have you ever done the commission style where you do like a, you get them to pretty much go like, all right, and then you can, uh, you judge how many hours it would take you and price it based on that? Yes, actually. Um, I had a long-term client that I was working with for a really long time before he had to move away. Yeah. Where um, I had gone to a thing and I had um, like pictures of my stuff with me at a convention. And he saw the pictures of my demigorgon. Mm. And actually... Um, let's grab him. Get over here. So here's my demigorgon. Mm -hmm. This is how big this 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 is my favorite baby. He a good boy. 
A big boy. So, big boy. yeah, so this is my, my big boy. And he asked me how much I would charge for a miniature this size. And I told him, like, with the hours that it took me to paint it and everything, because, like, this was the first miniature of this size that I had ever painted. Um, and I told him I'd probably charge about $150 if I had to do this guy again. Really? I, I would say do I would say charge more, because that's a huge fucker. Well, yeah. so, so here's the thing. Is he said, okay, cool. I'm going to take one of your business cards... And, like, he and I got to chatting about, like, where I was. Because it was a local convention, he asked me if I was local. I said yes. He gave me, like, his whereabouts, like, approximately where he lived. And I realized he lived around the corner from me. Oh. And so when I told him this, he was like, amazing. He was like, I have a ton of unpainted miniatures. I would like to hire you specifically to take miniatures home and just paint them. Like, oh, I nice. Just want them yeah, painted. yeah, yeah. So for several years, he was giving me, like... Just lots. Just stuff. It started with dragons. Um, so I would get... I was, I was taking, like, dragons that size, those big Pathfinder dragons. Yeah. I think I took the three home, the white, red, and green. I took those home, painted them, brought them back to him, and, I mean, that was easily what four hundred and fifty dollars right there mm. for like a week's worth of work mm. <laughs> it wasn't a bad gig it was it was and and the thing is, is i never i never upcharged him because of the amount of work he was giving yeah it's like the bulk discount um i mean i guess like what you could do is model like how much do you want to make oh did i fucking break the papers that was doing this um Hi, D20, by the way. It's good to see you. Hello. I'm painting little towel guys that I've been needing to do for fucking ever. Uh, as I'm sure that anyone who knows me knows how much <laughs> unpainted towel that I have just sitting around. So. I'm painting characters for my D&D &D group that I have been meaning to do forever. And my D&D &D group has not let me forget that. <laughs> <laughs> when um, are our miniatures going to be done? Yeah. The, uh, oh, so, uh, what I try every now and then to do with my DMing is go like, okay, how much do I want to, do I want to make ideally per week? And then I go, okay, how many games would that take in a, you know, without overloading myself or burning myself out and giving myself enough free time to do fun things? Uh, mm -hmm. and so like charging based off that as well. Okay, okay, I, I want to make uh, this much a week because I've also got these other gigs that will come in from time to time. So if I if I have, like, these slots open, then it'll work like that. So, like, I mm -hmm. price my Fiverr gigs and my start playing gigs kind of based around that. And then the Dungeon Master for Hire gigs come in. Uh, in all honesty, the Dungeon Master for Hire gigs probably get charged a little higher rate. Because a lot of them want one shots and one shots, mm -hmm. you know, one and done. You're not going to see them again. So you switch to like a slightly higher rate because your lowest rate should only ever be the I'm getting consistent work rate for for what I like doing. Um, And then what else did I do? It was like, it was like you set set that and then, and then have like your middle tier rate which is the one that you want people to choose but it's like you know it's it's within that livable range mm -hmm. and then uh on fiverr the way i said it is like my lowest rate is always like okay you only get like a two hour session and it'll be like teaching you the basics of DD &D with a little bit of combat to get you used to that uh, instead of like a full one shot so if someone tries to like sting on the price and go i'm gonna order a an intro to DD session but i'm gonna expect the one shot i'll be like uh 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 because it's very clearly defined what they get mm -hmm. and then you got your one shot session which is like you know that's what most people will order so you charge accordingly but i, I reckon you could like with your painting level layer i reckon you could do like like some of those bigger models you could do like a whole week's wage on that because if it takes you a week to do, that's what you should be getting. Yeah. Art um. is worth the money. 
art is worth what you're willing to pay for it. But that 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 problem is that there's a lot of people who, for example, don't believe uh, DMing is worth any money. Well, those people are wrong. Exactly. So it's all <laughs> subjective, which means that subjectively, what do you want to get paid to live? And then you charge okay. that. <laughs> I forgot that I didn't know where these pants are supposed to end and what kind of shoes this guy is wearing. Yeah. What is this guy wearing? Um... Sorry, rant rant over. That's all good. It's all good. I just want to I thought help. it was funny. Yeah. I thought it was I, I just thought it was funny that when I finished that TMR and somebody was like, I'll pay you five hundred dollars for it right now. Exactly. And I was like, No. <laughs> As in like because to, to you take can't a... get this you yeah, oh, like you can't they wanted the model. this yeah. model. You can't Tell get the model anymore. Yeah, I mean if you didn't want that model and you knew it was that restricted, sell it for like two grand. It's yeah. restricted. It's painted fucking excellently. You pay me anywhere from a thing. Nah, don't, it's probably not worth two grand. But like, you know, <laughs> pay me at least double or triple what you're asking me because I know that you're trying to get a deal. It's, I would probably not sell this. I would probably not sell this figure for more or for less than $750. That's still pretty good. For a model That's... that size painted by a pro, that's great. Yes, with the amount of hours that I put in and the learning curve that ended yeah. up having to happen. Um, is that is and that all the paint? Is that taking mm. into the account not just the hours worked, but the fact that you can't get that anymore? Um, that is partially part of it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say that should add hundreds of dollars just for that. Yeah. Like I, there's, there's no way that I would, I would sell this model for, for, for cheap, yeah, for cheap. Nor should you. Cause I, I think, I think, cause I got this model for my birthday, uh, two years ago, I think. Um, and my partner had keyed me into, he had to put a bid in for it, uh, on eBay. Hmm. Um, and I think he said. It was like approximately eighty dollars. I was about to say, to did you, yeah, did you did you cover the something? cost of what the mini cost in that selling price as well? Oh yeah. Another I factor so. again. So yeah. Definitely something that got keyed into that into that factor. And also she's just freaking beautiful. I don't know if I could do that paint job again. Like yeah, but someone someone is already willing to pay five hundred dollars. So if you can get it again, you know you got five hundred dollars in your pocket, at the yeah, very I least. Guess. Yeah, because that's what my partner said too. They're like, if you sell it, we could just take that five hundred dollars and get a new one. And you could, like, yeah, yeah. One that I would have to paint again. Yeah, but then you could claim the new one on tax. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, oh, D twenty in the chat. That's what I want to talk about. So Jasper's Hello. is coming up, and and. D20 here is in like, I want to say like 13 of the games. They won so many auctions. Like a comical amount. I love it. I hope you're ready to play some D&D. Yeah. Are you in Leia's game, Chris? Um, Is that Critical Chris? No, it's D20, Chris. Like his, his username then... is D20. Oh, okay. Then no. I think we've got a critical Chris. Ah, uh, yeah, we've got. So D twenty's in my kids on bikes game and my. Actually, we're we playing all three of game. I think we're playing all three games together. He's in all three of like the one I'm playing oh. in and the two I'm running. Never mind. Critical K is critical her name. K. Yeah. Um. Mm, where was my story going? Oh, yes. So uh, we've just submitted our Tiltify rewards. And uh, I I have put down some interesting stuff. One of them being uh, Chris has to sing show, show tunes. Because uh, <laughs> I know that Chris doesn't like singing. So we figured why not. Um, and what was the other thing? Oh, did I tell you this, Leia? I let, the, I let them be level 20. What? I, let, I was like, I'm going to be a sadist. I'm going to ruin my day. I was like, fuck it. How good are you guys with D&D? &D? Do you want to be level 20? And they all, every time the reaction 
was <gasps> like they just had the fucking world opened to oh, them and i was like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. and the, uh, and uh, it was also like they go like okay what about like starting equipment i was like oh and i like take starting equipment 300 gold and an item and they go like okay like what rarity of item and i just said did i stutter i said an item <laughs> and yeah. they go they go what do you Ooh. mean i was they're like they're like a bit like but like could I take this? And I was like, yeah, think bigger if you want. Because they were like, oh, could I just have this rare item? I was like, I said any item. If it's on D&D Beyond, <laughs> as long as you abide by the rules of the artifact or like whatever you take, you're good. And if that Ooh. artifact, if that artifact bestows damage upon you for touching it, then you're going to take damage when you touch it. Or it'll give you uh, beneficial and detrimental properties that could fundamentally alter your character. If you don't think about that stuff, I'm going to make you think about it. And that's funny for me. Uh, I know that uh, Rook chose like this Reaper Scythe. Uh, and he, it's like a, it's basically like a plus three weapon. And, and yeah, I was like, that looks fun. And it like, it can cast a lot of like death spells, like Grave Cleric stuff. It's like mm -hmm. very thematic. Uh, I can't wait to see what everyone else chooses. I just finished. But that's the kind my... of game I'm looking for. I finished my Hero Forge character for the uh, for the game that I'm gonna be in. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got yeah. this really cute fur bold. Oh yeah, you were telling me about him. Yeah. So what's yeah. their deal? So she is think. All right, have you ever seen the movie Lost Boys? You kind of, yeah. Kind of. I, I, Hold on, I, give me, give I, me a second. I'm hearing a siren go off within my house. So let me go check that out really quick. I bet I'll be playing, right back. I bet it's a video game. Okay, chat. Okay, chat. When we come back, when when Leia comes back, you gotta, uh, you gotta spam the chat. Uh, uh, the amazing thing that just happened on stream. Like, just let's just make anything up. Be like, oh my god, that was amazing. I can't believe, I can't believe you missed that kind of stuff. Just, just spam that when when she's back, and let's see what happens. All right, all right, good, good plan, good plan, good plan. All right, get ready. I don't know when she's gonna come back though. I'm just gonna, uh, uh, no, shit. You, <laughs> you're totally right. Do it though, do it anyway. What's up? Uh, Leia, you gotta see the chat. <laughs> I can't see the chat. Yeah, what? I know, but you missed it. You what did I miss? Uh, you, you <laughs> Alexander the Trash says, uh, I can't believe Leia missed it. Why would you, oh yeah. I, uh, I may have had a what little happened? sippy. I may have had a little sippy because someone actually exchanged it. Uh, what? Someone did the exchange and they and they were like, look, Leia's not here. You just got to do it. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. And D20, sa D20 says three pots. I didn't put three pots in there. I just ignored him. But. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold the phone. Time out. Holding a phone. I stepped away to go see what sirens were going off. Yeah. And you drank from the paint water? Yeah. I can't leave you unsupervised, can I? No. No. Oh, gosh. She shook. Everyone, she shook. Shook. Is this Absolutely practice for Sunday? Joke. I'm not drinking shit on Sunday. I'm just letting you know that. However, uh, it does let me, uh, it does let me um, bring up a thing. So uh, there has been talk in our little game chat uh, that uh, part of the plot involves a wizard, and people are expecting some fucking chaos. And I was like, oh, what if I? I was like, oh. What if I dressed up like Jimmy for Jaspers and and that was the wizard that is in question? And then I was like, I'd have to paint myself blue. And my computer desk might get all messy. 
You want to do that to yourself? I I don't know. It would be funny, but I don't know. But it'd be are you, you know. Dedicated? How dedicated to the bit are you, Matt? I'm pretty dedicated, but fuck, man, that's a lot. <laughs> a lot of effort. But if they did, like, if I did do that, I would absolutely like drink three or four coffees when I don't normally drink coffee beforehand, and I would be absolutely unhinged. Like, I would try to be as manic as possible. <laughs> you would be causing yourself a lot of pain. Yeah, I know, but it's for charity, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. See, I don't, uh, I'm, I like, I don't know. I'm hesitant. Chris, I know you're okay with that. You're gonna get turned into a sheep 13 times over the course of the week. That's why you're okay with it. Um. Oh, so we are talking about my character. Yeah. So my character is, uh, if you took Star from the Lost Boys. Yeah. And put Luna Lovegood in her body. Oh. <laughs> like, uh. 1980s vibe. Actually, what? Lost Boys, is that 80s or 70s? I can't remember. I don't remember. Anyways, I think it might have been probably 80s. I remember that saxophone. I think it's 80s. Yeah, yeah. But, like, that, like, 18, like, 1980s, like kind of uh like post hippie vibe with like Luna Lovegood in yeah, her body. Yeah. yeah. But of as a furbolg. <laughs> a seven foot ten furbolg. <laughs> she big. I do you like big lady? I do you like big lady? I do you like big tall Love lady. Big lady. Gonna be playing big tall wizard lady. Oh, wizard? Like wizard class? Wizard wizard class, I'm gonna be playing a diviner. Aww. Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. divination wizard. Divination wizard, yeah. I like that. <laughs> and this is in Sean. Is this in the this is in the game with Scarlet and Sean and George, right? Scarlet, Sean, and George, yep. Yeah, nice. Um, Sean is DMing. We've got Scarlet, and and yeah, George. I think. And have you have you met your winners yet? You got Critical K, and then you got. Yes, we got Critical K. Um, I can go through and check real quick. Some really awesome folks who have been in our chat already. Excuse me. Um, D and D nerd. Mm-hmm is one of their names and then we've got a zach rules zach rules i don't yep. think i'm familiar they they it's entirely possible they just they're, they're community members uh Possibly. i know a lot of the um, I, I, I know a know... lot of the aussie content creators get in on the the bidding as well mm -hmm. like my dm for hire guy who like runs the company was like i bid on one of your games and then got outbid so no offense i just didn't think it was worth it i was like yeah but someone else did and that's what matters yeah. Um, I thought it was really cool. Um, we've got... So two of our winners have already said what they're going to want to be. And I think myself and George are the only two, like, within the, the like, the actual show that have, have declared what we're doing. Yeah. Um, but two of our winners have decided one is going to be a Minotaur cleric and the nice. other one is going to be a Minotaur paladin. Uh, oh, like, are they going to be, like, twins? <laughs> I don't know. Well, they came up with their characters completely separate, apparently. Oh, really? I guess so. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then, like, right after, it was like, oh, no, I'm going to play a furbolg. It's okay. You just got furry party. <laughs> we're going to have, like, we're, just, we're not going to be able to do small spaces. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can fit into small spaces, though, right? Um... Mm It is too warm in here. Too many candles. Too many candles. Too, too many, many candles. candles. Too many candles. Too many candles. I switched to orcs because I can't do any more purple on those guys. So I'm just doing some green skins. I can't see these guys' boots, and I'm just really distracted. 
Oh, that's all right. Uh, wrap it, wrap in. So we'll be at two hours in about half an hour. You want to do that? Yeah, that'll be good. All right, sick. You were right about the sirens, though. It was. It always, if it's coming from within the house and you don't know where your boys are, it's the boys. <laughs> so, um, one of my players in my D&D game, my regular Saturday game, is been re has been has purchased a VHS player. Yeah. And slowly refurbishing it. <laughs> and so that has gotten one of my partners to want to replay some old games that yeah. he has. Because he apparently has a PlayStation 2 and a PlayStation 3. Oh yeah, we've we've got a PlayStation 1 through 5 downstairs in our house. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we've got literally all of them. And like, you know, Jess has oh, like... Technically, technically we do have another 4 in the house somewhere yeah. too, I guess. Uh, we've got... Because we've got mine. Yeah, we've got two 4s and two 5s in our house because Jess and I were playing games together uh, mm -hmm. on, on the 4 and then we just moved up. Uh, but... Shit. But, um... Yeah, yeah. Like, when I say, like, we've got the old consoles, Jess has, like... I mean, I've got a PlayStation 2 and 3 as well. But she's got, like, the old, chunky, very first mm -hmm. model of the PlayStation 1. Like, I'm not talking, like, the slim line one. I'm talking, like... Oh, no, like, I know the one you're talking the about. The big, fat brick thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's got the PlayStation what? 1 and 2 Fat Boy editions. Those, those are the ones that my that my family got. That was that was what I I started playing on. Yeah, same. I just I just boys. I think we sold our PlayStation Two trying to upgrade to the three when it first came out. Yeah, like I don't own the the I don't own the old um the old versions, but I remember that's what I grew up playing on. Yeah. Um. Because that's that is or no the Nintendo. One of the older Nintendos. That was the. F I was telling the guys the other day, like, here's the thing. It's like, they always make fun of me for, like, not ever having played Zelda or any of the Mario games or any of that. Like, those, like, games that a lot of people grew up yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're, we're, we're at the era where people are, like, snobbing, much like a film person, being like, you haven't seen Stanley Kubrick or you haven't played Zelda or Mario. It's like, motherfucker, yeah. I wasn't alive for some of these games. Well, so, like, I was alive for I know, some I know. of those games when they came out and stuff. But it was, like, it's one of those things where they're, like, they're confused because, first of all, I've got pretty cool parents. And it, that's not, that sounds weird to say out loud, but, like, my parents were pretty cool growing up because they were really young. Because my, my parents had, had me and my sister when they were still fairly young. Yeah. Um probably too young but like my dad still acts like a giant teenager oh fair enough um so they were kind of amazed to hear that like i didn't play certain games growing up because you know my dad plays he's my a dad's nerd, a, yeah. a big gamer um but it's because the first video game i ever played mortal kombat 3 I can still vividly remember the conversation my mother was having with my dad when she asked him to turn down the violence. Can you, you do, could that? do that? Oh, okay. You could do that. There were settings. There's always been settings in Mortal Kombat to turn down turn the violence. Turn down the blood and all that. Yeah, no, I can mm -hmm. imagine that. Because you used to be able to do that. Because we used to play Mortal Kombat. All of the Mortal Kombat games, we always played those as like a family. Like, as weird as that Whoa, sounds. Oh, yeah, that's cool. We would always sit down and we'd always like to the point where it was like my sister and I still rib each other about our favorite characters that we used to play. Yeah. Like my sister's favorite character is Melina. I'm not very familiar pink. with Mortal Kombat characters. Oh, <laughs> she's she's the pink ninja. OK, she's yeah. the female pink ninja. The classic girl I, character, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. She's the classic, the classic female who wore like the bright pink outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I always liked playing. Um noob smoke which is the gray ninja the gray male ninja yeah or scorpion who's the yellow one yeah and my dad just played he played most of the characters but he played mostly oh, i can't remember what his name was uh like knight something 
Nightcore. It was Night. Oh, I can't remember what his name was. He was like a, a indigenous character. Oh, I don't. I, I don't. I'm not familiar. Like he used to throw. He would like throw tomahawks and like summon wolves to fight you and shit. Um, and then the guy with the hat that would cut people in half. Lu not Lu Kang. Is it Lu Kang? Lu Kang? No, Lu Kang? Not Lu Kang. Not Lu Kang. I always get him, those names, him and like the main, the main dude. I'd always get mixed up. I'm bad. I'm bad at this. Yeah. It's been a really long time since I've played any of the Mortal Kombat games because all the new ones really suck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not that great. But yeah, like, and then we just graduated to a PlayStation because that's where all the Mortal Kombat games went. Oh, true, <laughs> and, like, yeah, yeah. We played those as a family, so we went from, like, having a Nintendo 64 because we had the cartridge. Because remember blowing in the cartridge? Oh, I remember that. <laughs> we went from that to a PlayStation 1. And, like, I Damn. played Spyro growing up. That's the only kid's game... That's like a classic that I remember is playing Spyro. Oh, so moral of the story. Uh, my boyfriend is playing one of the original. Um, uh, Spyro? What's that game called? The remastered. No, 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 no. Crash? No. What's, what's the one? <sighs> I'm going to kick myself when you say it. Um, Crash. it's like the, the, the gang, the gang, uh, one where you like, you like Grand Theft gang Auto? people's Grand Theft Auto. That's the one. Oh, yep. I couldn't think of it All for right. some fucking reason. He's playing one of the original Grand Theft Autos. Gang Theft Auto. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Gang Theft Auto. Gonna play me some Gang Theft Auto. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry, chat. Mm -hmm. Is chat going on? No, I just uh, no, I, I, I can't read it. No, it's all right. I was uh, I wasn't in painting and frame. Mm. I don't know where my frame is anymore. You know, on the classic bingo card of Good Morning RPG, it's a uh, painting off camera. <laughs> I just feel so bad because, like, hopefully next week, guys, I am gonna get I'm gonna get my partner to set me up with an internet cable like, like that goes land, directly yeah. into my computer, and hopefully. Next week, I will have some, like, actual good, non-pixelated bullshittery. Speaking I'm so of, sorry, I think your thing's frozen again. Oh, awesome. Is it really? Uh, it has for a sec. I'm just going to check uh, my browser hasn't frozen. Yeah, it's frozen on, on mine. Awesome. I think the first series I got into was Jack and Daxter. Didn't play Ratchet and Clank or Crash. Uh, Jack and Daxter is incredibly solid, though, as a franchise. Like, very good games. I remember playing one of the Ratchet and Clank games. Did you like Ratchet and Clank? Because uh, that was like that was the thing that I played first, and that was like the first big franchise I was into that wasn't Pokemon. I I can't remember. That's another one I never played growing up. Meow. I heard that. Sorry. I heard the little nya. <laughs> he's just because because I had the door shut and he probably thought it was closed because he's a big dummy. Um. Oh, I don't remember. It was maybe the one for a PlayStation Two because it had solidly. I think they were good all, graphics. Yeah, they were all PlayStation Two. Because the first one came out in. I think the first one was like a release title for PlayStation Two, actually. That sounds correct. Wait, what do you remember what I happened remember... in it? No. Dude, do you know how long ago the PlayStation 2 came out? Yeah, 2001. You know how long ago that was? I don't know. I've played I've I have played the Ratchet and Clanks over and over again. That's 21 years oh, ago. Oh, NBC DM, welcome to the chat. Hello. Hello. All the friends coming in today. All the friends. I'm painting an orc. Uh yeah, no. Ratchet and Clank was like one of my main series. Like I would play that series or games over and over again, and they'd be like, you know, every one or two years a new one had come out. Oh, that was so good. Um, 
Um, hold on. I just got an emergency text from my husband. Give me one second. I That's guess I'll be right back. That's all right. Let me know if it's anything up. Oh, no, we're just, yeah, we're just painting a little bit. Leia has to jump off for a sec. And I'm just doing this little, this little guy. I was painting some, uh, some other towel earlier. Just doing like the purple under robes. If it'll focus, as always. Fuck it, it's going down there. It's painting that guy. And now I'm on, I'm on this guy, doing the green on his skin. Because it's a very satisfying, it's a very satisfying color to paint. Quite enjoy it. Um. Oh, just as a side note, uh, cause you, uh, anyone who's in the kids on bikes chat game, uh, the last auction winner, I had a little session zero with them last night. Turns out I know them as well from Brisbane. Uh, I met her at a, uh, a live show for Sans Pants, uh, way back when, and, and we actually knew each other on Facebook as well. And it was just like a little reconnect moment of like, oh shit, how have you been? And, and it's uh, honestly, it took me about half an hour to realize I was like, I swear I know this person. I swear I know this person. Uh, maybe it's her sister, maybe it's her twin. And then she's like, yeah, yeah, no, I, I, did, I did your game and all this stuff. And I was just like, just wait, hold on, weird question. We know each other, right? Because I was like, I was certain of it at a certain point. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I, I was like, I was, I didn't know if you recognize me or not. I was like, it's been a while, but I did. Yeah. I just didn't want to be a crazy person and sound like a stalker. <laughs> And be like, hey, hey, oh, we've seen each other. Because we live in two different cities completely as well. Hey, Justin, spilled coffee. How you doing? Leia's just, uh, her camera's frozen again. But, uh, she just has to check on her booze for a sec. And I'm painting little Orky. Really? I've actually got a good pack story about something similar. Uh, submit a law drop. No. The, uh, what do we got? So I went to one of my, one of my really good friends from PAX, uh, Stephen Poon. I actually went to high school with his brother and I didn't know it until the last day of PAX 2013 that we actually knew each other. So, uh, I spent the whole weekend, uh, hanging out with him and talking with him. And because I just assume that I, you know, I just assume that they're from Melbourne or like, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna know where they're from. Because Cairns is such a small, isolated place on the other side of Australia. I, there's no reason to assume that that he would be from there. And then he goes, Stephen, Stephen Poon. And you and you mentioned you're from Queensland? He's like, yeah, I, I, I'm from Brisbane, but I, I grew up in Cairns. And I was like, hang on. Is your brother's name this? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, dude, I graduated with him. Like, I was in his same class, even his, even the same friend group. And and he was just like, oh, no shit. And then now I'm better friends with Stephen than his old bro than his younger brother. <laughs> uh, and it just, it's just, it was funny. How'd you go? Welcome back. Hello. Everything okay? Um, I might end up having to take my my partner to the hospital oh what happened i uh, his his did he cut off his thumb no the the knee he's had his surgery on is is like he's in oh he is it stand. uh is it's it burn. is it like real sore yeah do you need a yeah, do you need a rough, go, do you need to go paper. soon uh probably probably i won't be able to stay very long let me know when you want to go we'll just wrap up that's okay yeah, 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 we'll 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 still go until until our regular our regular time. The, Are you sure? The, in twenty minutes. Is that okay? If he you said, need, a... he said he'll he said he'll be all right. I mean, unless you want to cut short. If 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 he needs to go to the hospital, I'm fine to do that. I don't I don't know what he's gonna want. Okay. He's killing me. <laughs> Sounds like his legs killing him. I know. Yeah, I mean, let, let me know. I, I'm happy to to, to stop early because that's that's legitimate. That's a legitimate yeah. thing to to be worried about. Yeah, and I'm worried. I should probably should. We should we should stop. Off. We should stop. We that's should right. stop. It's okay. 
I know. He said he was going to be all right. I was like, I got it. Like, I can't just disappear. I I gave him some meds and I was like, you're going to be all right for a little while. And he'll be, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. But he's obviously in pain. So yeah, no, no it's all right. We'll stop here. Um, I'm sorry, guys. No, it's okay. It's, it's making sure your, your, your booze. All right. No, I, I get it. I drop it. Mm. Well, I got some eyes done. At least, or well, ninety-five. <gasps> Look at that clear picture. Please tell me that's. Oh yeah, for you. Uh, and it's not, unfortunately. Hold it, hold it. Oh up. no. Oh no, hold on. It, uh, I think my Discord feed. Hold on, I think I can get it back. Let me switch the sources. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Move. I don't know why the fi I can see it on. Oh, uh, maybe my. <laughs> It might also you know be what? me too. It, no, I think it's my um That's that was me, that was me. Uh I think my Discord on my browser froze and fucked up. Yes sir. Uh well if it makes you feel any better, I think my Discord is fucked up. So Alright, so I got I know it looks like he's got black eyes, but that's only because I haven't put the skin tone back in. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, so yeah. it was indeed it looks like it was my end that causing more grief. Oh. I got I got pretty much a clear shot. You can see and it looks like he's got black eyes, but that's because I haven't put the skin tone back in. But I did some eyes and I got some some work done on his clothing, like deserty clothes clothing. Yeah, why? Not... I hope everybody can see that right. Just doesn't want to take the sauce. Mm, it's all right. We've been having all all sorts of problems. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Play next week. Oh, we'll... there it goes. Finally. Yay! There you go. Show it's everyone. Show everyone. It was it was up for like a little bit and then it fucked up again. Yay! There we go. Oh, looks good. It's got a little bit of a, like a like a a mask thing going on, but it will be it will look better once I put the skin tone back around. Absolutely. His eyes. It'll only be just that little little hint of like eyelashes around his face i'm trying to do more of like a deserty clothing type look mm. so that's nice. that's that right now oh that's my gosh good. i can't believe i got it to focus <laughs> who dis <laughs> new focus who dis new focus who dis all right well uh what do we got here what do we got here so leia I know yes. we're ending a bit early. But yep. What do you got for us? Right, oh, we gotta change that fucking thing. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> change it and update it right now as you're doing it. Uh, what change? Oh, uh, right, cool. So you can see me. I normally I look at the the Twitch thing. And no, I, that's I, all right. It's the it's the chat stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can find me at uh, on Twitch at Sorcerer Sundries, or I'm sorry, Sorcerer Sundry one singular because there wasn't enough space to put all of the sundries. Um, you can see where I post all kinds of cat pictures and stuff that I'm working on recently. Um, I unfortunately don't have an Etsy anymore, but I do have open commissions. If you're looking to have something painted um, or 3D printed and painted, I can do that thing. Uh, that is, that is, I paint, paint small things from miniatures this size to miniatures miniatures quotations oh, my arm is stuck there we go is this size or there's that tiamat which is like four times the size of this thing that you know if you've got 500 dollars you want to drop on something i paint giant miniatures hey, there you go giant miniatures what an oxymoron so yeah that's me um you can see my stuff on twitch twitter twitter, twitter. That's the name. and the tweeter is down tweeter. there and there um Oof. Yeah, I don't know. You can you can find me in in any of these places. You can you know Instagram or Twitter or Dungeon Master for Hire. I guess I'd do some of that. I'm gonna go play fucking Curse of Strahd out in Bacchus Marsh tonight. That's gonna be fun. Uh, that's one of my new ones. <laughs> uh, we're also doing many games over Jasper's oh, game yes. week in the Australian edition. Starting on Sunday, you might see me paint myself blue. And get on stream and make an absolute fucking ass of myself because I let my characters and my players be level twenty with legendary items. Uh, but you know, I've got I've got a couple things in mind for that. 
uh, Leia, Monday. What's, what, what day is your game? Monday, the day after. So your Monday or my Monday? Uh, your Monday. So, my Sunday. So your... So my Monday? Uh, Leia my and George? Yeah. Did I say Sorry. Monday? Oh, I'm gone. I'm fucked up now. Uh, your, your Monday. So your on our Monday... Monday <laughs> on our Monday, the second game with all of us are in... Actually, no, third game, because George is on straight before me. All right, here we go. 12.30 p.m. Sunday, Australian time. George is in a game. 3.30 p.m. Matt's running a game. D&D. &D. That's the one that might be blue or not. Haven't decided. Might do it. Monday, 12 p.m. George and Leia in a game. Playing. They're doing a playing with Scarlett playing. and Sean. Mm -hmm. Fuck, when's the next one? Tuesday, oh. I think. I think Tuesday is my next game. I am running Kids on Bikes. Kitty on a bikey. And I have... Oh! Okay. I got one thing I want to say to you guys. And I wrote it down last night. Do you think it is too obscene? And I need a chat. Didn't mean to interrupt anything. Oh, uh, hey, hey, we're Lander. I hope you're okay. Shouldn't run over kids, Matt. It's all good. It's all good, wet Lander. You, 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 you gotta, you gotta get some, you gotta get some due care. One thing I do want to say is, is do you reckon it's too obscene? Too. I was gonna make the, the theme is like far north Queensland, but. I might put a rumor in the town that there's a guy who runs a, a uh, do you know what a tinny is? No. Okay, a tinny's a beer. Like a can of beer. Okay. Uh, and hold on, I need to actually look up what I said. Um. It is supposed <laughs> to be family friendly. It, it's supposed to be family friendly, but like, just, just, uh, just, uh. It, it, we got here. Uh, I've wrote down Willy Wanker in the tinny factory. <laughs> It's probably inappropriate, Matt. So is that? Oh, Arda Roleplay. Hello. Can you can you verify me this? If I if I was to put in, oh, that's absolutely fine. Okay, because I cracked up laughing so much. If I could put in a rumor in my kids on oh hey Clint, if, if um if I could put in Willy Wanker in the Tinny Factory, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna tune in for that one. You're fucking, and you fucking and you find you you're able to go to the factory if you find the the forex gold can. <laughs> All right, that was good go morning, RP. Find, you find the gold beer can, and you get to go to the factory. And I'm then he leaving. goes, and then he goes, careful kids. Everything in this garden will get you done in for underage drinking, so don't. Touch nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like everything in this room is made of chocolate. It's like everything in this room is alcoholic. Do not drink it. <laughs> oh <my God. sighs> this is us playing League of like just after you left Leia, this is us playing League of Legends, and then we're just like, come with me to the world of inebriation. <laughs> Of course, of course, I could have had an entire, uh, I could have had another like hour worth of in, of entertainment had I stuck around and not did laundry and be a responsible adult this morning. Hey, tune in. <laughs> so you want to see any of that nonsense that I have just been approved for apparently? That's going to be kids on bikes at 3.30 p.m. So that is unfortunately going to be like your one o'clock in the morning. But All right. Well, then I'll just it. watch the VOD. Just watch the VOD. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about the Oompa Loompas, but I might make council workers working there. And that's just as funny. <laughs> but yeah, yes. Willy Wanker and the Tinny Factory. <laughs> oh, no. Like, if we can't get I any can't other wait. rumors, that's going to... That could be my plot line right there. <laughs> Going to... <laughs> The Willy Wanker team. All right, team I'm back. I'm gonna log off. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm going. Anyway, I got one more <laughs> game. NVC DM in the chat is uh, DMing it. I'm playing Klungo the Wild Magic Barbarian. If you want to know that one. Ooh, bringing, those are fun. I'm bringing back Klungo. Yeah. Uh, and Klungo's coming back. <laughs> uh, I I got nothing else. I'm so amused at this fucking tinny factory. Uh, oh gosh! George, I can't wait to see it. George absolutely broke me. Uh, I don't know if I could put this one. And he goes, "Wow, the pingers taste like pingers." 
<laughs> and I just fucking lost it. <laughs> Probably can't put that one in. <laughs> but, Probably not. But, uh, <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Let's look for someone to raid real quick. Oh, oh, I went to check and I can't check. No, it's all right. Uh, how about... Oh, we got Punkle next. Let's do Punkle. Punk oh, sorry. What happened there? Oh, it's you. Okay. Just look, my, you, we my, can deal with it. It's I fine. Let's raid my, Punkle my next. my second feed. <laughs> all right, raiding Punkle next. He's doing some junk punk by the look of it, I think. And yeah. they are literally just making stuff out of trash. Like... They get whatever's around their house. I think last week he was making um like smokestacks and buildings out of old whey protein. Ba uh, uh, I, I don't know they're more bucket than container, but those things. Uh, and yeah, let's go over there. Say hello to Punkle Nix. They are a good, good person. Always fun to watch. Some love. Yeah. And All right. Follow him. Follow them. Follow them. All right. Follow them. Fuck, I don't know. We might be back on, on next Thursday. We'll see how we go. Jaspers, if not, literally, yeah. there's there's four or five games of Jaspers that you could tune in on from Sunday all the way through that Friday. We'll see you mm -hmm. then. Twitch.tv slash Ardent Roleplay for that one. It won't be on this channel, but we will host them. So just keep an eye on our socials. Join the Discord if you're not already in there. Um, uh, and... The thing. Oh, shit. Uh... Jump in the Discord if you want to see the uh, server-wide announcements for that as well. Anyway. Yeah. I'm going to go have lunch. I'll see you all on Sunday, and I might be blue. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.